Evidently, I do. I cared enough to sit down, write this script, and record this video. No one asked me to. I could be doing a million other things and yet, here I am. At a very large scale level, there is both no benefit and no harm in putting something out into the void of YouTube. Anyone with a sub count less than a big impressive number often goes unnoticed, and there's a strange comfort in that for me. I could technically put whatever I want on this channel and I won't have to worry about if people like it, because I like it. And that's all that should matter, right? But if I'm just yelling to no one about whatever, what's the point? Eventually, many small creators like myself grow tired of waiting for a viral moment, a sense of validation for sitting in our bedrooms in front of a camera, then behind a laptop or phone, and making video after video staying patient for the YouTube gods to notice. After a certain point of waiting, I think this is where many small creators stop being patient and just give up. And that makes me really sad. To just get to the point, make videos, make music, make art for yourself. You heard what I said, you read the title, make art in the name of yourself. It doesn't matter if no one is listening, in fact that's better. Make some weird crap, experiment even if you don't know the basics, have fun. You have the ability to make something and archive it on the internet, take advantage of that. Use your phone camera and iMovie for all I care, just do it. <laughs> even after getting motivation, a lot of people fear looking back at their old stuff and realizing how cringy and bad it is. <laughs> This is obviously inevitable, but I don't think it should hold anyone back from starting, nor from picking up video making again. The way I see it, if you're able to look back at something from one or two or even five years ago and go, oh my god, ew, then that is a telltale sign that you've improved. I can guarantee that there is someone out there who is rooting for you to get better at whatever creative thing you're pursuing. Heck, I am rooting for you, a random internet user who I don't know, to make something cool. Circling back to the start of the video, sub count does not and never will indicate the quality of one's content. I look up to a lot of really cool YouTubers who have less than a thousand subscribers. They've dedicated their free time to making videos just because it's fun. It's great being able to find some truly amazing short films, video essays, even music projects made by some dude from the middle of nowhere. The thing that sucks is that these profound pieces of work are almost always buried under a pile of garbage. And it can be hard to find that diamond in the rough. There isn't much we can do about what YouTube thinks must be shown on the trending tab, not like that matters much anyway, but you can control what you put on this platform. Hence, the reason I'm making this. Don't make content for the sole purpose of trying to get famous or rich or for whatever arbitrary reason. Make it because you love it. Make it because it's your mode of self-expression and the way you understand yourself. Make it because you want people to see the world through your eyes. Make it because you wouldn't trade the opportunity to make cool stuff with your friends for the world. So who cares? I do. And I think you will too if you get this a try. Hey guys, obligatory end of video segment. Thank you so much for watching. This is something completely new for my channel and it would mean a lot if y'all told me if you liked it or not because God, this took so freaking long. It took so freaking long to make. Anyways, it's getting dark outside. You can probably barely see me. Hopefully the editing me will do some magic and make me look more visible. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a great day slash night. Bye-bye.